Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yutose episode number 9. Okay, the previous episode, um, we had uh, a few of, uh, what can I say, of the competitions and uh, Miyuki, we saw her, <laughs> you know, her talents once again, her and Tatsuya's as well and how she completely <laughs> annihilated the opponent and that that was that and obviously amy also has a fight i think like this episode will probably be focusing on amy amy speed shooting i don't know if they're going to show honoka's battle board in this episode or not probably and then most probably like you know we'll also see miyuki's pillar break and later on in the upcoming future episodes i'm guessing um, this is episode 9 like i'm guessing episode 10 or 11 we're, we're probably going to see mirage bat and mirage bat will probably take one or two episodes so I'm guessing this season will, like the last portion of the season will be uh, very much focused on the night school competitions. So yeah, I think this is how it also went in Red Tose, didn't it? Like, you know, they kind of like broke the season up into two parts. And the first part was this, the whole Blanche thing, uh, the uh, nine schools competition. And then the later part was like, you know, like uh, the other stuff that we saw. So um, yeah, so let's see what this episode brings. So without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number nine of Mauka Koko no Reto Se. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is the preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh, first we're going to see the battle board. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. First, okay. Amy's uh, speed shooting. Okay. Okay. I'm quite interested in what the outcome will be. Obviously, Amy will win, I guess, because Tatsuya, Tatsuya is there. Okay. Let's go. Um, I think she'll win because that's uh, you know she has Tatsuya as backing. If she, if she herself, uh, if Tatsuya did not like you know uh, did uh, like you know tuned her CAD, it would have probably be a very close competition or something like that. I don't know, like because Toko's her name is Toko, wasn't it? The blue haired girl. Yeah, she's seems pretty strong i don't know why like her fearlessness and her curiosity of you know fighting a stronger opponent is the most scary thing about her those type of characters are kind of unpredictable so <laughs> yeah Hmm. Okay. Because you were by <laughs> all right. <sighs> okay, let's see. Oh yeah, her technique. Um Oh. Okay, she already seems pretty um, calm. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, she seems pretty calm. And she's also sacrificing one of her pillars to do this, you know? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, that was a bait. The... Oh. 
Amy's strategy seems pretty. What can I say? I don't know. Oh, coefficient of friction of her own pillar. All right. Oh, damn. That's pretty scientific. Okay, um... Yeah... Hmm... Um, Amy, come on. Oh, come on. Da na na, okay. <laughs> oh. As I said, yeah, like Tatsuya has <laughs> no, no. Like, yeah, they will, but... Yeah... Okay... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Just rammed it. <laughs> Boy, okay. M Magic sumo. Oh, there were. Hmm. Uh, oh my god, that's a really good. Yeah. A lie can rewrite reality and become the truth, so do not lie. Like when she was saying, like, you know, oh, maybe I'll, like, you know, people will forgive me. I can lose, can't I? Like, so that's not the proper, you know, way you should think about this, like this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My god. Whoa, what the? Okay, never mind. What? Losing just as much as she. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the? Yeah. And she never used her full talent before. Oh, she has two pillars left. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, no. The yeah, excessive use of... Oh no! Yeah, it's... yeah. One of his her pillars. 
Oh boy. Hmm. It's missing a I'm curious, how is she going to do this? Like she has two of them left, so What? Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah. There you go. Okay, nice. Oh. Okay. Okay, there you go. Wow, that was close. Damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whoa, is this <laughs> Damn. Proposal. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, she won't be able to do anything. Okay. Dead. Okay. Oh yeah, she kind of wanted to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she'll I think she'll probably hmm. yeah, they would have had to fight anyways if they can only if uh someone else like you know went to the final so. Okay, yaki soba okonomiyaki. Hmm. Yeah. No holding back. <laughs> okay.
Oh boy. Well. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking if she, she, you know, thankfully she did not get depressed. Okay. All right, battle board. Here we go. Oh, what the? <laughs> um, what are what are, what is she doing? <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Oh no. Okay. She'll have to she'll she'll have to do it on her own. Okay, okay. Um, I think that will be counterproductive. Or maybe not. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see. Damn. Mir Blocking other spells. Oh, oh my god. All right. Oh, okay. What? Why? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Okay, this is going well. <laughs> um damn okay
Um, oh my god. Why not dodge it? Can, can, can she do I'm guessing it's kind of difficult to dodge it. Wait, what? What? Oh. 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 Okay. Well. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, she's dual. Okay, oh boy. Um. Whoa. Okay, there, that's what I was saying. Like, she can dodge it if. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on, a little bit. Um Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, that was clever. <laughs> okay, come on, win. Okay, there you go. She won. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm guessing we're going to see Okay, there you go. After this we'll see their Yeah, their match. Okay, so all right, so we'll have Honoka and um, uh, not Honoka, sorry, um, Shizuku, Shizuku and Miyuki's uh, match in the next episode, and probably we'll go like see something about Mirage Bat, and I'm guessing the next episode after that will be Mirage Bat, because that's like the main highlight of, I think, yeah, main highlight of Miyuki, the Mirage Bat, so it'll probably be towards the end. And and also like you know Iris is going to uh, participate in that so you know like it'll be like a uh, what do you call it ending ending battle ending final battles that we usually have uh, at the almost at the end of the season. Damn! So like impressive like every every match they won like you know like each and every match. <laughs> like damn
okay that's the end yes all right so this uh, it was episode number nine of mahoko koko no yutose so here we see two yeah two matches yes two matches uh the speed shooting and the battle boat so for the speed shooting here uh shiori now uh amy's uh way of actually fighting is kind of uh, what can i say uh, like as we can see it's a little bit self-destructive because she uses one of her pillars to smash the other pillars so it's actually like one she has to sacrifice one of her pillars to actually get the others so like you know it's kind of uh i think one of the biggest um uh what do you call it flaws of her strategy because like the last like you know the, almost in the end we could see the actual uh importance of uh, her own pillars because she only had two left so she had to use one of the pillars to win the match otherwise it will either like you know become a draw or it will become uh, it will be her loss so like at least one of her pillars has to keep be standing so now that's why like you know like i don't know like it's kind of but i guess that's like her own way of actually fighting like i'm sure she has some other countermeasures uh for that uh uh for what do you call it for for her weakness so but if if she actually fights against strong opponents like this like Sh uh, shiori here uh it will be a problem because her strategy involves destroying one of her own pillars so yeah but you know like she won here uh, almost uh, very closely and a win is a win so it was good but i don't know like you know like uh in my opinion the way shizuku and uh, miyuki fights that is like a better way obviously because they use their magic to actually destroy the, the opponent's pillar and strengthen their own pillars so like you know without uh, having like you know putting any of their own pillars in danger like they don't have to sacrifice one of their pillars to actually get the other pillars now <clears throat> now like the thing with amy here is if somehow she actually misses you know like for example i think uh yeah it happened in this episode only where like an unprecedented thing happened she the first thing she did was use one of her pillars to actually get three of the other opponent's pillars that was good but then what she did like she used another one of her pillars to for targeting the other three pillars unfortunately uh, because of the opponent's strategy her own pillar got destroyed like that's the main problem of her strategy like if it misses she suffers damage so like you know she has to be confident and she has to be completely sure that yeah like one of my pillars is definitely going to take down three of the other pillars so unless and until she's confident of that if she uses this strategy it can probably backfire so yeah like uh, but it's her way of like you know fighting so i guess you know and um by the end of it we actually see that she was able to uh you know turn the whole thing around like it, it would probably would have been her loss if she did not uh remember her grandma's words and what tasia said so yeah like she kind of got it but also there's another thing about her stamina like she needs to improve that as well so that she can keep using this strategy uh, because it really does take a lot to actually take one of like she's taking one of her pillars and flinging it into the opponent's pillars like, <laughs> like that's that definitely takes a lot of uh a lot of her stamina and so yeah but you know like you know then she was able to turn the whole thing around and win somehow but yeah unfortunately she won't be able to get into the next battle like you know uh between miyuki and shizuku because <laughs> she's all spent out her you know she has no stamina left to actually fight again now i wonder what she would have done if she actually had stamina left to fight would she i don't think she would have actually said something like uh you know like okay uh, i will 
participate in this friend it's kind of like a friendly match they're having so i don't think she's that that type of a person who would actually like you know uh be uh what do you call it uh what can i say like who would actually go and fight against their friends just to see how strong she is like the thing that shizuku said that i want to like you know i have such a great opportunity to test my own powers so uh, against the best of the best that is miyuki so not uh, like you know losing this opportunity i don't think like amy is a person like that not as competitive as shizuku so like you know if she probably had uh, stamina left i don't think she would have actually participated she would have probably said that nah, i i'm like you know I'm, i don't want to do this so uh, i'll be like you know i won't be participating in it uh, i'll be giving up so but who knows maybe like you know i'm kind of like uh, <laughs> like guessing what she would have said maybe not maybe she would have also like participated i don't know but as far as i can see like you know her personality um, yeah she doesn't seem like a person who would actually uh like you know be overly competitive and try to fight against them uh, miyuki so yeah but and like one of her personality uh like you know traits that we saw with it uh i think one of her uh i forgot the girl i always forget that that girl's name the orange haired girl you know uh, uh she said like uh she usually <laughs> you know <laughs> her loss and her win is very similar now that means she usually whenever i think like as, as she said like whenever she wins she actually kind of loosens her um, you know what do you call it doesn't use full uh, the full extent of her abilities so like i and i think that that is something that she does unconsciously like she's all about the balance you know she's all about the balance and like uh, from the battle it, itself we can kind of guess her personality where she was saying that um oh like i can lose can't i like you know people like you know uh, won't be uh, like you know they'll forgive me won't they so i like you know like that is that's her personality she's very passive i think you can call her that and uh so like so that person who when she actually <laughs> unleashes her full abilities she becomes pretty strong and we saw that and her grandma said a very like uh what can i say very interesting thing like she said something like uh uh what did she say yeah uh, magic is something that turns lies into reality so if you actually believe that lie it will become reality so you should never lie especially for a magician so that's a very great point i have to say like when she was saying that i can lose can't, can't i like people will forgive me won't they like if she actually thinks that yeah if i lose no nothing will be the problem and i don't like you know it probably won't bother me that's a lie because she herself wanted to win so that lie would have been a reality become a reality and she would have lost so self confidence that's the main thing that's needed for magicians to actually you know do well in everything and she understood that by the end of it all right okay that and then as we saw like you know shizuku said that she's going to fight against miyuki she doesn't want to lose the opportunity and then we got to see shiori and airi like, you know like them kind of talking with each other and it was a nice little moment and uh, yeah and then we get to the other portion of this episode uh, shizuku's battle boat uh, not shizuku sorry uh, honoka's battle boat and uh, like so uh, okay so here it is the, the thing that i'm guessing toko did here is uh she 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 was caught by surprise like you know she she was surprised at a few st things that happened that honoka did the first thing that she was surprised about was uh, her like you know when she actually realized that she's sensitive to light and uh, she like, that means she made her strategy uh, not knowing that so like when i'm guessing when she understood that it won't work she changed his, her strategy and i'm guessing she started uh you know like putting what can i say uh dummies you know to actually trick her into thinking that okay most of them are dummies so and i'm guessing in the midst of the dummies she kind of uh you know kind of uh made a few real traps so like that was what she did so unfortunately this like like this whole situation was kind of difficult for honoka because 
like there were so many of the um, traps so if honoka like you know when honoka realized that there might be actual traps within the dummies as well she, the decision that she could have taken here was she could have just like you know destroyed all the traps but unfortunately that she, that's something that she could not do because she herself said that her stamina will go down completely because there's so many of the traps so like so here's the thing here um this is like a tricky situation toko she she made a few dummies so for i'm guessing for making the dummies she did not need much of her stamina so let's see like she placed 100 of the traps uh, amongst the 100 traps she put 70 dummies and 30 actual traps so she actually needed 30 uh, traps worth of stamina so she did not spend much stamina but honoka here is at a problem here because she herself won't be able to understand which is a dummy and which is a stamina uh, sorry, which is the real one so she'll have to use her full stamina to actually destroy all of the uh, traps and uh, like including the dummies uh, if she really wanted to be uh, completely sure that yeah i won't fall into the traps but doing that will probably drain her of all her stamina and she won't be able to continue so toko would win that so that was the problem here so she, like she could not do that she could not destroy all of the uh, traps so she had to go in and improvise on spot as we saw she did by the end of it where she started like you know uh, moving and dodging now okay just a sec okay one thing that one portion i need to check out again just a sec okay uh, when she starts dodging okay um the thing that toko says no not toko uh uh, the the senpai I forgot her name she said that suddenly she started moving much better we elements okay here it is we elements have been known to unleash powers that we didn't know we had for the sake of those we depend on is that what it is okay that was it so basically she's <laughs> saying here that <laughs> her feelings for Tarsia was the actual reason why she was able to win this <laughs> like you know that was the basic like you know summary of this <laughs> that's what made her win by the end of it so like that you know like that's why like toko kind of teases her at the end she says that your feelings were <laughs> like you know like uh, what the, was the reason that you were was able to do so well and you defeated me like because of the power of your feelings or something um <laughs> okay um Okay, here it is. I guess that shows uh, goes to show how strong your feelings were. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, and now here's the thing. I I really like, can I kind of like uh, <laughs> like this happens like uh, as soon as we got to know that Tasia won't be able to be here. Uh, like, I kind of thought that okay, will she be able to do it well? But then I realized that okay, Tasha is not actually being here for the time being, or everything else that you know, like all the advice, everything, the CAD management, he had already done that previously, so it won't be a problem, you know, because uh, like you know, at the, uh, when the when the time at that time when they said that Tasha won't be able to be here, I kind of thought that okay, oh wait, so what does that mean? Like Tasha won't be, uh, like you know, uh, uh, won't be what do you call it doing maintenance on her cad i thought and then i thought that okay that's like a problem isn't it so because tasia and you know like both both things are needed here like the participant who is participating and the engineer so if one of them is gone and tasia is a great one a uh, great engineer and she, like you know so that would have been a problem i was thinking like oh my god is she going to lose or something and then i realized that no like tasia won't be here for the time being he he already gave all the advice before and like i'm guessing also did uh, the maintenance on her cad and everything she he just won't be able to be here for for this time like, you know for this match that's just it and then i realized that okay like then it's all well and good because they like you know that did the little training that we saw like you know that still gave him her a lot of advice and all the other stuff all the strategies and everything they worked on together so 
yeah it won't be a problem and uh, yeah they won and it's really interesting to see like i don't f uh, feel like they really showed this in reto say like how close the matches were like in reto say i felt as if like everything like was showed as if like you know the like, you know honoka and all of them went one by a landslide but that's actually not the point like you know uh, situation here as far as i can see like uh, for example this match uh, toko versus honoka then the previous match amy versus shiori uh, like all those matches so they were very close so yeah like kind of like um, but like a few of them were very like you know one-sided which was <laughs> miyuki's match which was extremely one-sided that that like you know we know but these matches like you know this is actually really showing what's happened so it's really nice to see like you know like the other characters as well so yeah and so i'm guessing the next uh, episode will be um, shizuku versus honoka uh not honoka uh, shizuku versus miyuki i mixed up all their names <laughs> Shizuku versus uh, Miyuki and uh, yeah it's interesting like like I'm quite interested as to see what's going to happen like I, I'm sure like Miyuki is going to win but you no know, how is she going to win is she going to win by a landslide or is she going to have a good fight that's the question yeah. I think she's probably going to have a good fight because Shizuku herself was pretty strong so yeah so let's see now I wonder like <laughs> What's going to happen in this situation? Like, is Tasha going to work on both the CADs? I think so, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah, that, that's what they said, I think. Like, you know, like, Tasha is kind of preoccupied with that, with the pillars break. So, that'll be interesting, you know, like, if he actually works for both the, of the CADs. <laughs> like, Tasha versus Tasia. <laughs> and, yeah, but anyways, so let's, like, just wait for it. So, I'm guessing the next uh, week, that will happen and i'm not sure if the battle uh if the mirage battle will start in the next episode or the episode after that but it will probably start uh you know i'm guessing it'll probably start in the 11th episode or something the mirage battle so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to mahoka koko no yuto say episode number mm, nine so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down below anything you want to say if you want to let me uh, let anything uh let me know anything uh please comment down below and i'll check them out so <clears throat> yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh, next week with another episode of mauka coco no you to say so until then goodbye and have a nice day